is also celebrating its 30th anniversary. So, mga pa natin, happy, happy 30th anniversary, Mabuhay Desert. Wonderful. Woo! And we'd like to welcome here on stage, just to give us some a few opening remarks, the president of Mabuhay Desert, the woman in charge, Miss Kim Morrison. is that each of us works together to make something sweet, just like in a beehive. So today, we are grateful that all of you are here as fellow honeybees working together to make this sweet thing happen. Um, just to give you a little history, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, I'm very forgetful. Um, <laughs> so, we have, so how Mabuhay Deseret works is that we are like a beehive, we have everybody working together, local doctors working with local hospitals to provide care to these local patients. And this is part of um, it's part of how we um, we work. It was originally um, started by Dr. Bill Jackson, who was here as a missionary about 30 years ago. And so that's why we are starting our 30 year anniversary because while he was here 30 years ago, he he saw this great need because although he was called to be just a missionary, he was, um, he happened to be a physician. So as a doctor, he saw the great need for different, very visible needs like a cleft lip and cleft palate, um, club foot, different, different things that were not being addressed, and so he said, hey, let's, let's do something about this. So he got together with some of the local doctors and talked to the local hospitals about providing care for these people who obviously couldn't afford it for themselves because if they could, then they would have taken care of it by then. And so that's how it started. It started with one surgery, and now, 30 years later, we've done over 100,000 surgeries in the Philippines. As part of our philosophy, you guys can all meet some of our patients. We brought some of the cutest people in the world. You can meet them afterwards if you want. They're all sitting here up front. But um, as part of our philosophy, just kind of so that you know, we we love to have everybody come in and be a honeybee. We even ask the patients to be honeybees themselves so that their self-esteem is built up and they know that they can contribute something. We ask them, bring whatever you can. So sometimes it's a papaya from the tree in front of their house, or sometimes it's maybe a small bag of rice, or one time when I was in Davao, they brought a live chicken, and I said, okay. And so anything, anything to pay it forward, everybody can be part of making something sweet together. So the thing that makes us special, not only do we work with local doctors, not a team coming from a foreign land here for two weeks and then leaving. We have local hospitals and we have rehabilitation here. We have hospice houses where patients can stay. And so, if you can imagine, I know all of us probably know someone who has a, a condition like a cleft lip or cleft palate, or you see someone with a club foot or maybe they're an amputee. These are the kinds of people that we help. We also help people with all kinds of eye maladies. So anything with cross eyes. And in this group of people, you'll notice that most of these people uh, will be bullied and sort of maybe overlooked for who they really are. And people only see on the surface that, oh, this is a club foot person or this is somebody with a club. So, 
What we do at Mabu High Deseret is we provide these life-changing surgeries to help people literally to be cured from preventable blindness so that they can see. But also, we help other people to be able to see them or the real person that they are. Not just someone with a cleft lip or someone with a club foot. We help, we help them to be seen as well. So again, I'd like to say thank you to everyone here for being a honeybee, helping us promote this awesome cause. And um, yeah, that's it, welcome.